Hey, appreciate you stop. Keep going. We've been walking for fucking hours. I need a breather. I said keep going, you'll have no reason. I'm not fucking breather. Cut the shite, okay? If you wanted to kill me, you'd have done it back on the road. You need me as insurance in case my boys catch up to us before we get to that river. That's where you're headed, right? I said, shut your fucking mouth and keep fucking walking. I won't tell you again. <clears throat> This gypsy bastard. Should have been here right now. Traveller. What? The correct term is traveller. The term gypsy is a bit derogatory. Does it look like you fuck up with the correct terminology for a fucking gypsy? Terminology? <laughs> That's a very educated word for the likes of you, Rory. Listen, I'm gonna make you a promise. You keep us up and I knock a fucking teeth in the back of your head. Sorry about Tommy. It's all my fault. Never talked to him in that last job. His head wasn't enough. Let me ask you something. You and Tommy seem to be really smart boys. What made you want to live this kind of life? My father was educated. He was a lawyer. Went off to war. Did his duty. Came back and never complained. We were the lucky ones. Most of the men never came back. And the ones that did, the country they put their lives in the line for, refused them help and cope. My dad dedicated his cause to help these men get what they deserve from the government. Me and my brother grew up knowing nothing but this business. And what happened with all that? What do you think? The end of the tears, things you did do. I think my dad was really good with his craft. Good for family, good for clients. Proper government officials and banks. They did everything in their part to destroy his firm. Neither after all that, still never complained. And one day he just walks out in front of a livery truck so he can collect the life insurance from a man. Just so she could feed the rest of us. But guess what? Banks refused to pay. Then his death was deliberate. Making a pass of no one void. So you boys hit the banks as retribution for your father? I started out that way. Yeah, I came the only way I like. But lately, I don't have any more to do anymore. For me, I still need it. To keep the memory of your father alive? I don't know. Maybe I just like robbing banks. <laughs> What's your name? Constable Brian Rohan. What made you want to be a copper? Constable Brian Rohan. Poverty. My family were like the men your father was trying to get justice for. The only way I could help my people was from a position of power. I figured becoming a copper was the best gateway to that power. Do you have a family of your own? A wife and two boys, Richard and Ryan. Don't worry, I promise. We'll see them again. 
tractors as fast as you get through get there. And toss your keys and you can free yourself. Boat miss not coming, Rory. What? How do you know that? Listen, you're a smart lad. Put it all together, huh? You and your brother are the famous Daly boys. Rory and Thomas Daly. Best bank robbers this side of the country. No one has been able to get the best of you pair. Then all of a sudden, you just so happen to hit a bank that just so happens to have 12 well-placed police officers at the scene. You just knew we were coming. But how? It's only me and Tommy at the Fucking Tommy. You were right. He said it wasn't in it. He came by my office looking to make a deal. After he couldn't convince you not to go through with it. In your land? I promise you I'm not roaring. Fucking land! I'm not lying. You met a girl, right? One of the traveler women from the creek? Tabby. She's with child. You're fucking land! How would I know that then, huh? How would I know you and your boys would be at the Donnelly Bank at that exact day and time? I promise if you don't stop fucking land, I'm gonna shoot you right in the fucking face! You don't have to come to that, alright? You can still make the deal. Now, the boatman's not coming, and the only way you're getting out of Belfast is over that river. My men will find us out here, and if I'm not alive to speak for you, you won't live to see tomorrow. I can still help you. I can still help you. Please don't do this. How, how can you help me? The money. Take out enough to start over and put back the rest. When they get here, I'll tell them that it was you who made the deal. You'll do a little time, but you won't see the gallows. Then when you get out, the money will be waiting for you. But you have to let me take you in for that to work, all right? How much money to take it, Rory? Don't be stupid. Suarez? What? Swear to your children's rage, you're not allowed to me. I swear, Rory. I swear. I need you to hand over the gun as well. I want the last to get the wrong idea and shoot you dead. That gypsy girl really is kind of Tommy's tail. Are you sure she gets some of my pup? Like I said before, we prefer the term traveler. And I'll make sure my sister gets all the support she needs for your nephew. The Creek folk will only know great things about the brothers who take them out of poverty. I owe you that much. Goodbye, Rory. Whoa, you look like shit. Where's that fucking barge? It's just on the street.